right now I am joined by Matt from Matt Hat Jerky. Uh, first of all, Matt, uh, I gotta say, you're probably the youngest person ever to be on Wine Hops and Road Stops. So we're not gonna talk about wine, we're not gonna talk about beer, we're not gonna talk about anything like that. We're gonna talk about jerky, your jerky, Matt Hat Jerky. Uh, so first of all, you look pretty young, okay? You're uh, 14 years old. Just give me a little bit of a, a background, like how you decided, why you decided to uh, get into the beef jerky business. Yeah, so when I was 11 years old, um, my dad always made jerky around the house and I loved it so much. And one day I was just thinking, why don't I go and sell this around my neighborhood? And I tweaked his recipe just a little bit and made it perfect for me. And then I started selling it and the, the people liked it. And it's just grown for, like crazy from there. How has it been going so far? How, how have you been received uh, with your jerky? So, it's just going so amazing right now. And we've actually had people like Guy Fieri, he's reviewed it and he loves it too. It's just. Well, that's awesome. awesome. I mean, hey, I love Guy. Guy loves food. I love food. So, you know, me and Guy, we'd be like this if we ever met. That's so cool that you have a, you have like a thumbs up from Guy Fieri. That's amazing. You've also won a, a, an award recently for the jerky. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so it's actually the Taste TV International Award and we won Best Beef Jerky. And it was just a shocker. It was so awesome to get that accomplishment. Um, so, okay, let's go through some of the flavors that you do offer. Uh, what can you, can I expect if I came to your shop to buy some jerky? So we have the original and I sold only the original for three years. And then around this time last year, we wanted to expand. So we added spicy original, uh, ter teriyaki, black truffle, uh, slap your grandma, which is made of Carolina Reapers. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty hot stuff, isn't it? Yes, it is. I can't even eat it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but some people like that stuff. I'm, I'm a fan of hot stuff. You know, I probably would try just a little bit of it, probably regret it, but I would try it because as long as it's hot, it has some flavor to it too. That's a, that's the main thing. It's right? amazing before the spice kicks in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you always, it can't just be hot. It has to have a little bit of flavor to it too. So you can go in if you like really hot stuff. There's something at your place for for the, the the person who loves like that burning your mouth off kind of flavor. Of course. But if you don't, you know, if if you you, you could get some normal beef jerky also, right? Yeah. So we have very mild. The teriyaki has no spice, mm -hmm. and we have a mild flavor. And we actually have two lines of jerky. So we have the original cut of meat, which is eye rounds. And then we have a keto, gourmet keto, which is flank steak, and that's more tender. So we have a keto mild original, and that's for people who don't like spice. Tell me a little bit about your beef jerky and the fact that there are no preservatives in it. It's just natural. Yeah, so really that's one of the biggest prides I take in it is that it's just completely healthy. And eight out of my 10 flavors has no sugar and very low carbs. So, so when you're when you're uh, when you when you open up the beef jerky, it's gonna be fresh, but then you have to um, you gotta you gotta eat it, you know, within a couple of days. Yeah. You have to eat it fast. <laughs> right. Well, you know what? That's gonna be no problem for someone like me because I love beef jerky. And so it's once you open it, it's because if you get a bag, you're probably gonna eat it super fast. <laughs> anyway. Well, you know, once you open it, too, uh, you should what? Store it in the refrigerator. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to keep it for a little bit longer, that's a good idea. But the fact that there's no preservatives, I like that because you know so much, so much, so many of these products are filled with you know, what I'll just say junk, and your product isn't. You can't keep it for very long after you open it because of that, but that's all right because it's better that way. And it tastes amazing. Yeah. Tell me about your store, where you're located, your hours, everything about that. So we're on South Main Street in Moscow. And we are open pretty much nine to five, Monday through Friday. And we have all 10 flavors available and we have a refrigerator for drinks. Well, let's talk about you being so young in this business. You know, how do you handle everything? You're 14? Yeah, so me, my sister and my dad work together as the owners. Um, and with when I'm in school, they're helping me out a lot. Yeah, we do production five days a week and we are just making as much jerky as we can. I know it's a tough question. You may not have an answer for this, 
Okay. Can you pick a favorite one? What is your personal favorite? Personally, I like the keto better just because it's more tender. And I think my favorite keto flavor is black truffle. Like we talked before, someone likes really hot stuff. What would you recommend? Definitely the Slap Yo Grandma. And if that's not quite your level, the Carolina Reaper, spicy, original, and sweet heat would be really good for you. So you have a couple levels of hotness, we'll say, with your beef jerky. Yeah. So you so, don't have to go all you don't have to go to the moon with the with the slap your grandma. <laughs> uh, the spicy original is in between original and slap your grandma, but it's mainly for the flavor of the habaneros, I would say. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Stay safe and keep making some jerky. You too. Thank you very much.